Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, the and they don't give a fuck. The brick is. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my fucking face, because I would have given him my number. Brick and is. all y'all just fucking watch. What do you want y'all see that shit? What do you want y'all see that shit? What do y'all want y'all to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Yeah, fuck all y'all niggas. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual pro property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. Bitch, not even the three. <laughs> Because men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. But we protect everybody, and we provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew! <laughs> and don't forget, before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worried about niggas. All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, Wahavrachakwarash, with Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's His true name, and the Rachakwarash. That is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, you know, we just saw that viral clip of that so-called black woman, all right, getting, you know, hit, you know, in the face with a brick by somebody that she uh, rejected, basically. And as you... uh as you uh, saw in uh, other clips as well, you know, this woman, all right, you know, she's a, you know, a feminist, all right, uh, you know, a lesbian, okay? And it's funny how these women, in particular the so-called black women, will talk, you know, down to men, all right, talk shit about men, but when, you know, things get real, okay? You know, when her life's in danger, now she wants the men to protect her. Now she wants, you know, that knight in shining armor, okay, to be her savior and to, you know, aid her, you know, in her, uh, in her moments of distress, okay? And you see what's happening, all right, is this whole world is catching on to the bullshit of women, Okay? All right, and in particular, the so-called black woman, all right? Everyone knows she's full of shit. No one's taking her serious anymore, okay? And, you know, these women, they're going to get mad that no one wants to help a sister out. Well, you see, this is what happens, okay, when you constantly... You know, one, disrespect men. Two, you know, you uh, um, talk shit about men. Three, you know, you take advantage of men. All right? Now, no one wants to, you know, uh, 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 help you out. Okay? And then the other thing, too, is, you know, the spirit is changing out here. Okay? See, judgment is starting to come down. On these, you know, wicked people. And I'll say this. You're going to see more judgment, more judgments on these women. Because there's one more women in this world. Okay. And then two. These women out here are very, very wicked. Especially the American, you know, woman. In particular, the American black woman. All right. But then that trickles down to the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the other tribes. All right. Can't forget the Hispanic woman. All right. The Native American woman. Okay, and you got the other nations too who are, uh, you know, these other, uh, 
these other women of the uh, other nations, they're all messed up too. But point being, we're talking about our women, the Israelite women, all right? The tribes, okay? It's, it's time for their judgment to, to come, all right? And I want to show another clip too, because look, this woman's trying to act all innocent and trying to, you know, talk down to men. But look at her. Hold on. Let me get this. This was earlier. Okay. This was earlier in the night. See, you know, hey, this footage, you know, <laughs> you know, it surfaces up, man. Hey, these women aren't innocent. Okay, but let me get this. You see? All right. This woman can sit here and assault a man. No one says anything about it. Everyone just laughs. It's, it, you know, thinks it's cute, thinks it's funny, thinks it's empowering. But once she gets slapped with a, you know, a brick, you know, across the side of the face, now everyone wants to, you know, you know, cry about it, complain, come, you know, come to her aid. No, man, that, that, that was judgment. All right, now let's get this. Let's get some scriptures now. This is Micah 7 and 10, and it reads here. Then she, that is my enemy, shall see it, and shame shall cover her. See, shame is, is, is about to cover the majority of our women, okay? I'll say this before they, they get, you know, deleted, all right, from the matrix, right, from this world. The Lord is going to put shame on them, all right? You see? All right, let's keep reading. Shame shall cover her which saith unto me, Where is Yahweh, the, the Lord, thy power? And that's what the majority of our women tell us, the men of the Lord. Where's your God at? Oh, you're still, you know, not saved? You know, you're still a nobody? You know, so on and so forth, right? But see, eventually, hey, the tables are going to, you know, uh, 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 turn, man. All right? It's going to be a role reversal very, very soon. See, we're not going to be at the bottom forever. Eventually, hey, we're going to skyrocket to the top, man. Okay? You see? That's what's going to happen. You know? Eventually, we're going to be the, uh, the, uh, the most precious thing in this world. Okay? When all hell breaks loose. All right? It's coming, man. It's coming. It's only a matter of time. It's not if it's going to happen, it's when. All right? Hey, but I know we're getting closer and closer. You can feel it. You can, uh, you, you, you can, you know, see these things, man. If you got spiritual, you know, eyes, man. Okay? This society is about to fall apart. This thing is barely hanging on by a thread. And with that being said, since it's only hanging on by a thread, the second this thing snaps... Okay? It's over for these women. It's over. Like I said, and we're starting to see the, the beginning stages of it. This woman got hit with a brick. No one even cared. Then she gets mad about it. <laughs> the audacity, man, of her. You know? Probably p played half those guys throughout the night. You know what I'm saying? Disrespected them. Like I said, the way... Hey, she, she slapped the one Edomite in the face. Who, 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 who knows what happened, you know? She slaps him in the face, almost knocked off his glasses. Come on, man. She deserved, you know, what, what was coming. Let's keep reading. My eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Okay? And look, we're about to see... The majority of these women get stomped the hell out. We're about to start seeing judgment. And now I'll say this, not just online. We're about to start seeing judgment in person. We're really about to, to see, see the fall of these, you know, women. In particular, the Israelite woman, man. You know, our enemies right now. All right, besides Esau, Edom, the, 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 the next in line is, is the Israelite woman. Okay? Starting with the black woman to the, you know, Hispanic woman. 
and a Native American woman. All right? You know, the Israelite woman, she's second in line. She's our number two enemy. Eve, basically. If you can receive it. Okay? And it's a beautiful thing, man. It's going to be a beautiful thing seeing them fall. And seeing clips like that, it, it, man, it, it makes you happy. It makes you happy. Because the Lord, I'll say this, the Lord's allowing this to, to occur. That's how you know we're, we're, coming, we're getting to the end of it. Because for a long time, Eve was shielded, man. She was shielded, all right? You know, she had a covering on her, so to speak, all right? Just like how Esau had, you know, has a covering. You know? But now we're starting to see that judgment come, you know, come forth. It's starting to be executed. All right? Let me get a couple more scriptures. It's Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Let me get this real quick. It's the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. And it reads here. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's the thing with our people. Okay, since that, you know, since judgment doesn't get executed, okay, speedily. All right. In their minds, they believe they can just keep doing wickedness and get away with it. And you see that woman. You know this is not the first time that she's, you know, done these things. This is a, um, um, a reoccurring, you know, uh, 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 this is re reoccurring behavior, you know. This is something she does in her daily life, okay. You see? And that's why she, 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 she thought everything was cool, like... Even like going back to the situation with how she slapped that Edomite in the face. Like I said, clearly that wasn't the first time she did it, uh, did these things. That's why she was so comfortable with it. And she just kept walking like nothing was going to happen. And then, hey, later down the, you know, down the line, you know, as the night progressed, she got slapped, you know, in the face with a brick. You know, now, it's not, now she's looking like Martin, Okay. Just through and crying, com you know, complaining to, to, to others, you know, to help her. No, nah, man. De hey, deal with it. Deal with it now. Okay? Let's keep reading. Verse 12, it says, Though we, uh, give me one second. Excuse me. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 12, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. And you see, at the end of the day, it's not going to be well with the wicked. Okay? And right now, you know, we're getting on, on the women. It's not going to be well with them. That's why we're going to see a lot of our women get, you know, judged out here. This is going to be a common... Um, a common scenario, okay, in the near future. Right now, you know, it's still, you know, almost far fetched. Like, oh my God, you know, whoa, whoa, man, that that woman got beat up. You know, that 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 woman got stabbed. She got shot. Whoa, what the heck is going on? By 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 a bunch of men. What's going on, man? This is crazy. See, right now it's far fetched, but. And, 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 and you know, um, 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 and rare, right? But eventually, that's going to become a, a, a common theme out here. Beautiful, because look, this is the mindset of the majority of our people. Let me get this one. This is Amos nine and um. I'm gonna start at ten or nine and nine. No, actually, you know, I'm going straight to the point. No, actually, excuse me. Let me go up. This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. Okay? And that sinful kingdom, it's um, it's twofold. 
uh, scripture here, all right? That first, uh, uh, first and foremost, this is actually talking about the nation of Israel, okay? That's that sinful king, kingdom. Because you got to remember, as it says in the book of Isaiah, what? That we're what? Ah, a sinful nation. Okay, as the scripture say in Isaiah, what? I think one in four, okay? A people laden with iniquity, you know? So hey, Israel is that, you know, sinful nation. But also, it's talking about here in America, okay? They the place that promotes wickedness. <laughs> you know? That influences the entire world on how to do evil. Okay? Let's keep reading. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. All right, and see, the Lord's not going to completely destroy the, uh, the nation of Israel, though. Okay, he's going to um, make sure the remnant, okay, you know, is it, 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 safe. All right, from the judgments that are going to come down. And look, the remnant, hey, the elect, they're going to... Uh, they're going to change their, be, you know, the, the behavior patterns, okay? They're going to try to get right to the best of their ability. You know? They're going to have a, 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 a separate type of um, mannerisms. A separate type of way of living, okay? You see? They're going to be completely different from the rest of these people. I'll say this. You know... Because, hey, there are righteous, you know, sisters out there, so to speak, okay? Talks about the elect lady. All right, there's, you know, several women that were mentioned in the scriptures that were actually righteous, right? And I'll say this. You're going to have, you know, a chunk of our women. Because, look, the one-third, I'll say this real quick. The uh, one-third is actually a big number still, okay? So you are going to have a chunk of our women that are actually going to get right. They're going to see... Judgment, you know, go down. And they're going to want to, you know, uh, find a man of the Lord. They're going to want to get protected. They're going to realize that they need, you know, a man of Yahweh Shema Shai to survive. Okay, unlike, you know, the two-thirds of our women that think, you know, <laughs> that think that they can be independent and that, you know, that feminism is, you know, going to get the win. They're all going to be, you know, uh, 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 what is it? Captain Marvels and and Wonder Women, you know, Wonder Woman, all right. You know what I'm saying? And She Hulks. All right, keep watching Marvels, Marvel movies and DC movies, and see how far this gets you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's a movie. In reality, look, you're all gonna get you know destroyed out here. And, and it's funny because it, it, that's the spirit. Because I just watched an interview of a um. A retired uh, MMA fire, fighter, which a lot of you all know if you watch MMA. His name is Jorge Masvidal, okay? He was uh, asked a question on how many women can he uh, basically take on. And pretty much he said an infinite amount, you know, until his body pretty much gives up. And he, he said that, look, the, the, the most fierce and top um, woman fighter, her name is Amanda Nunez. He said the lowest level UFC male fighter would take her out with ease. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So look, when this, when this stuff really goes down, you women are in a rude awakening. All right. But let me keep reading. Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like a corn is sifted in a sieve. It shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's the spirit of the majority of our people. And in particular, you know, the women. Like I said, as we're getting on the women right now. That woman, she, she didn't think anything was ever going to happen to her. She thought she can keep doing this forever and ever until, you know, she goes to the grave. She got a rude awakening that night. Like I said, hey, she, 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 her, <laughs> her whole face is... Effed up, man. Effed up. You know, and it got worse too because I saw a clip of her when she was in the hospital. Did you know? It started um swelling up even more. 
Like I said, she looked like Martin, man. God, that damn near. You know? Guy, guy got smacked in the side of the head with a brick. Completely through. All right? And good, man. Hey, these judgments need to, hey, need to keep coming. And we're happy about it, man. We're happy that the Lord is, is you know, punishing the wicked for their, uh, for their evil deeds. All right? But uh, I think I'm going to end this lesson now. I was going to give one more scripture, but you know what? Hey, the points were made. All right? But hey, call Loim La Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? For, uh, you know, executing these judgments. Okay? Hey, these are beautiful things, man. You know, we're, we're in beautiful times. Hey, seeing the downfall uh, of these, you know, people, man. Okay? But, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. Hopefully, you know, whoever was listening was edified. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and the Baba Ball.